Welcome to the stream. We are playing uh, Nebulous Fleet Command for a little while. And then I'm going to be playing Dungeon of the Mad Mage, which Ed is going to be running. Ed's hanging out in the chat with me in Discord. Let's get started. The question is... Let's try... I'm going to see if I can jump into... That's not a real game. So you were able to beat... You were able to beat... Um... I was able to beat the AI, yeah. So, I could show that real quick. I think I probably want to put together a new... F the long distance. Yeah. The biggest thing that helped... To get them on your long range. Yeah. You gunned one until you basically destroyed it. Right. And then it ended... Uh, the battle ended. It, you had two ships and he had one ship. Which is a victory. Right. So yeah, it's a victory of all the other guys' weapons are eliminated. Replicate that... Uh... That, that strategy is the game like broken did you find the, uh -huh. the do you have the do you have the audio on should i talk to you on twitch or should i talk to you on discord oh on on discord because okay. I, I can't i can't talk to you through, when i've tried to talk to you through twitch it just everything's really like long that makes sense all right yeah um yeah um i um i had a couple victories that i some of which I played off stream. I think one of them I recorded against the AI using the long range uh, heavy car heavy cruiser. I actually made some improvements to it in the most recent match that I played. I added some energy regulators, which improve the speed that the railguns fire. So that's pretty important. Um, and I actually played my first multiplayer match off stream. I think it was last night. So I got to upload that to YouTube still. So I was pretty excited. I was pretty pumped for that. And even though my team got hosed, I felt like I mostly did okay. <laughs> So that was fun. Uh, but we're going to, I think we're going to do single player today because we only have a limited time and it doesn't look like there's any open multiplayer games right now. I'll check one more time real quick. These are both private games. Yeah, we're going to just, we're just jumping to, let's build a fleet and then we're going to go into single player. I think I'm going to start with. How many ships? Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. I don't know. We'll find out. Got to push, push the talk the first time. All right. So I think what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to respec this heavy cruiser. I'm going to keep the two escorts, maybe. I'm going to respec this heavy cruiser and do something other than rail guns. Um, or maybe I go for the battleship. Let's go for a battleship. What the heck? So I'm going to do away with one of these guys. And let's go from blank hull. I'm going to just build a big old battleship. Uh, the question is, what do I want to do with my battleship? Let's see what our options are for weapons. Okay, so we have a beam turret. That's pretty strong. I think we're going to have want to have at least one of those. But probably not. That's probably not going to be our main armament, I think. Probably going to have one. This is 8 by 5 by 8, which means there's only two slots on the, sh on the ship, I think, that can hold it. Yeah, that's like the equivalent of a PDC. Yeah, exactly. Close range, protecting borders, and, and potentially like a cannonball. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's only two big mounts. Let's see what the big mounts can fit. So the big mounts can fit beam turret, any size missile launcher, the Aurora, of course. That doesn't require a big mount, though. Mark 62 cannon, Mark 66, Mark 68 cannon. What's the range on this thing? Um. Accuracy to 87 meters. 87 meter accuracy at 10 kilometers. So I guess that's its max range, maybe. I think the, I think all the cannons are like that. What's the beam turret's range? Five thousand meters. Okay, so this is half of the range of the cannons. The problem with the battleship is it's not going anywhere in a hurry, so you want to make sure that it has some range, I think. I think I also want to try this interruption jammer. We're going to put one of those on the ship, but it's not going to go in this slot because it's the huge cannon slot. Let's throw some Mark 68s on there, I think. Okay, yeah, so we have no ammo. That's fine for now. Uh, 
D8. Yeah, it's built to get them close. Yeah. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna give it some missiles for long range too. Maybe one or two railguns. If it can get in close fast, that's good. Yeah. So we're gonna need to put a good drive on it. I think. Let's uh, let's do that now. This actually has two drives. I'm not sure why. Oh, they get they add extra power maybe. Radar drive gives me a bigger radar signature. I think my radar signature is big enough already. Great radar drive? Yeah. So radar drive gives me a... Reduces my probability of taking flank damage, of damage from going at flank speed. Uh, increases my linear thrust by 40%, which is really good, but also increases my radar signature. Which, I mean, maybe I want that. I don't know. Let's experiment. We'll try it. This gives us 40% more linear thrust. What about the whiplash? Whiplash is top speed plus 15%. Let's do a radar, a whiplash, and then also... Can we also do a dragonfly? Or is that all the drives? There's I think... Lots that can fit a drive. I think yeah. the modules are interchangeable, right? They're all the same size? Uh, no, they're all different. So the dimensions are listed yeah, next to the module here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you can only get a module in there that's that's as big. Or right, something. exactly. So I'm going to try it like this. I don't know if I'm going to have enough reactor power. Um, I think I might be able to... Let me see if I can... I could still fit micro reactors in the other slots, so this is probably okay. Oh, yeah. If you can get... You're going to need a lot of power in a battleship. Yeah, and the drives do... Each drive gives me a little bit of extra power, so that should help. Okay, so we've got cannons... We've got... What's going to be here? This could be a railgun, I think. We'll put another railgun on bottom. Oh, this could be a Mark 82. Although this could also be another cannon. That's tough. Let's do a mix. Okay, so we've got two huge cannons. Do these have slow traversal or anything like that? Um, traverse rate 7.5 degrees per second. That's not a lot. So these are big cannons for killing other large ships. I'm gonna need a bunch of smaller guns. Yeah, battleship's gotta have it all. Yeah. But but battleship is, I think, ultimately made to take on large vessels. Like. Yeah. So it's it should have some. Big Navajamas on there. Yeah, probably. There. Trying to figure out like where. Rear slots. I think the stuff over on the, uh, the opposite side here is going to be missiles. I'm just spitballing right now. Most of this, some of this stuff is probably going to end up getting stripped off in the final configuration because of the point value cost. I wonder if I should use the MLS launchers instead of the VLS. VLS can launch more missiles quickly, but the MLS lets me launch more missiles altogether as long as I also have room for an ammo bay. Let's do multiple MLS, I think. I think this could be a point defense of some kind. Let's do the flak cannon, maybe. Or this could be a... Let's make this the VLS-23. So that's going to be point defense missiles. No, this could be... This is a better slot for point defense. Okay, and then this is going to be... We could actually use a signa, uh, the uh, interruption jammer on this side. So this is going to prevent us from being attacked by sniper spotter teams. Hopefully. This guy up here, I think we want some black and maybe an Aurora. We could get multiple Auroras, I guess, but that's probably going to be too much power. Let's look at what our power load is right now. 110%. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. 
Let's try to throw another Aurora on there. Okay, so we've got two Auroras, one top and one bottom. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to spend a bunch more points on missiles. This could be a flat cannon. Yeah, okay, and then this... I think we want these to be smaller guns, probably, these three. Okay, let's look at the traverse rate here. Uh, traverse rate 18 degrees, traverse rate 20 degrees. Let's put a couple Mark 1s on. Okay, so we've got two roll-off missile launchers, three Mark 61 cannons, which are the quicker ones, two rail guns, and two Mark 68s, which are the super huge ones. So that's a lot of guns. This is 2,400 points so far. Right now the design's not viable because... Oh, we need jammers. Hold on. I have to give up... I think I'm going to give up one of the Mark 61s for a jammer. Uh, we also need a bullseye radar, so we might have to give something up for that, too. So here's a jammer. Actually, if we go with the... Let's go with the bigger... I'm going to upgrade our frontline radar to parallax. That way we don't need the bullseye. So it'll save us a weapon slot. I don't know if this is going to be enough jamming. We'll see. That's a big ship. Like yeah. Signature, it's gonna be really hard to hide. I wouldn't worry too much about you know, hiding it. Yeah, that's true. Just all you really need to be able to deter uh, missiles very easily if you can. You know, beyond that, like, they're gonna shoot at you. You're gonna right. Shoot, you know, but, but you're a battleship. You know, that's the, you, I'm sure the, the armor of this vehicle is higher. Yeah, as well, right? we got to keep that in mind when designing the ship as well to make sure that the sections in the center are more armored and we have a lot of damage control. Let's put in some DC lockers in the middle, I think. We definitely can't fulfill all the requirements right now. 13 design warnings, not enough crew, low on power. One or more weapons are not assigned to groups, no ammunition, plus nine more. <laughs> so this is our dream boat, sort of. Let's, um, I'm trying to find these slots in the middle here. Are those weapon slots? What's this guy? That's the CIC. That's not a good place for the CIC. Let's move that. If that, if that gets destroyed, that completely toasts everything. We could go for maybe the Citadel CIC to make it tougher. This is 50 damage resistance. So maybe let's do that. And then we're going to have a backup CIC somewhere else. Where's that going to be? This could be a good spot. This could be a good spot also. Let's do that here. Okay, that's good. Uh, maybe make that a reinforced CIC even. So giving it lots of durability. Somewhere we gotta put our ammunition. I think we put that in the bridge area, the superstructure. Oh no, this is the wrong type of thing. This is going to be ammo. I think. I'm confused. Where does the, which section does the ammo go? Let's see if this lets me put ammo. See, ammunition elevators. I think I'm looking in the wrong category. Book magazine, there we go. Okay, so it's a compart ammo is gonna be a compartment. We use the two there we go, okay. There's a magazine. There's a magazine. And I don't know if I want to put them all in the same area. Let's put one. 
down here. This could be a. We could go with reinforced magazines, maybe. Let's try to get that. Maybe do one bulk and two reinforced. Okay. So we got that. This is going to be a damage control locker in the middle here. Or a birthing station. We need birthings. So let's figure that first. This can be a birthing. I think we have enough crew now, maybe? This could be a DC locker up here. Try to fill the smaller slots first. So let's say this is a rapid DC locker. This is going to be a large DC locker. It's going to be a rapid... Reinforced DC locker, because this is in the middle. We're almost at our 3,000 point limit, so we've got to watch that. Um, we don't have enough crew again, so we got to add another berthing. That's going to be here. Okay, I think we're good with the crew now. Now we got to figure out our power situation. We're at 161%, which isn't as bad as I thought we would be at this point. I think this is a good place for a micro-reactor down on the front underside here. Maybe. I hope. Okay, we're at 121. I got some kind of... Did I, I heard it in some message or something. Hey, Whippet, how's it going? Welcome aboard. I'm designing a... Um, Battleship-based fleet here. Let me know if you have any suggestions. I think we need some of our stuff, some stuff to enhance our guns. Like this could be gyros. This could be ammo elevators. This is for energy weapons, which we don't really have. Except, well, we do have the rail guns. This is only for the beams specifically. What if the real guns are a mistake and we should just stick with the missiles and the guns? Let's try to go... We'll try to fit everything and then we can trip stuff down. Okay, we're still way over our power budget. Focus particle accelerator, this is beam damage. Okay, energy regulator we've got... Oh, we should get some reactor fail-safes, probably. There's something about... I don't think we need the thruster nozzles because we have... Three, three drives, so I'm not super worried about taking drive damage. I do want to fit in the sprinklers somewhere. There we go. Let's see. So we need the reactor boosters, I think. Thing's gonna be enormous on radar. I hope that's okay. Um, still under our power budget. Okay, now we're under. Now we're under budget. We should probably want a little more backup power here. Do we have the option to put? There's a small reactor booster. What about a regular reactor booster? I don't see that here. Must have used up all the big slots already. Okay, we're going to definitely run out of points when we go to add the ammo and the missiles. So we're going to have to figure out what to... Launcher deluge system. Emergency system integrated into vertical cell missile launchers. We don't have any vertical cell missile launchers except for the VLS. They're all... Um, they're all roll-off launchers, so we don't have to worry about that. This doesn't fit a micro-reactor, does it? Power plant? No. 
Okay, so we're at 3,000 points. We're at 84% of our power. Let's add... I haven't filled all of our compartments. What are we missing? We got CICs, we've got damage control. Workspace for engineers to fabricate temporary parts. This increases repair speed by 30%. Is that, an, is that worth giving up a DC locker for? I'm not sure. 20 points versus the large DCs. 45, and I think I'd rather have more damage control teams, probably. Plant control center. This could give us a substantial power plant efficiency. So we could be able to remove... Could we remove a micro-reactor? Gives us... Puts us back up to 94%. Let's assign the weapons to groups so we have one less notification on our design here. So, can they rename this weapon group? Mark 68s. Mark 68s. Real guns. Is that the only real gun? No, I haven't. I thought I have another one. Here's another one. Okay, so the real guns, we have the Mark 68s. We have the jammer. Doesn't need a weapon group, really, I don't think. And then the Mark 61s. Okay, so we got rid of some of our warnings just by assigning the groups here. Oh, we got the missile launchers. Um, we don't... And we need ammo. Uh, let's fill the reinforced magazines first and then see what that leaves. I think we're going to want a bunch of... We just have to remember that missiles have to fit in here as well. So let's do one magazine that's just rail. I don't know why it won't. Okay. Probably don't need. Okay, that's 600 rounds. And then this magazine is going to be. Now we're way over our points, of course. We'll, we'll cut it back in a minute. What, uh, what kind of shells do we even need? Let's check. Okay, so for the. So we got the railguns covered. For the Mark 68s, um, 450mm chemical, ballistic chemical. And then the Mark 61s use 120mm ballistic chemical. So 450 and 150. Okay, so we got 300 rounds for the Mark 68s. That's probably more than we need, honestly. Let's see about the Mark 61s. Is that the... Um... These are HE shells, good, okay. And then this is the Mark 61 shell. Okay, that's enough for the HE shells. Let's add some flak rounds. How many flak launchers do we have? Flak, flak, flak. We're looking for... There's a rebound. We only have one rebound, I think. Yeah, so... With a rebound, we're probably... Let's go for 700 rounds. That's like nothing. Good. Okay, and then we need missiles for the roll-offs. We're gonna get a bunch of squalls. Let's get like... 30 squalls. Oh, no, that's too much. Might have to reduce some of our other ammo. Let's go down to 1,200 rounds for the HE. 
think we want more missiles. These are very space consuming, apparently. We might have to switch some of these to... Let's switch this one to a bulk magazine. So this is the 450 millimeter. Okay, that just increases the number of shells for that particular weapon we have. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, let's see. I think we... Let's reduce our railgun rounds, because I never run out of railgun rounds. Did I say 800? Which one? The railguns? Those are rounds? Those are shots? That's how many, yeah, that's how many individual shots I have. How heavy are 400? That's a lot. Yeah. I don't think you need 450. So 400 rounds is, is like a third of this. This is probably plenty. Um, and then what am I missing? So we got the... 450, we got the 120, we got the flat rounds, we got the squalls, we need the rest of our missiles. Okay, so we can't fit that many missiles here, unfortunately. Okay, so that's as many rounds as we can fit in this bin. That's squalls, a couple squalls, a couple hurricanes. Oops, what the heck did I do here? I just deleted that entire bin, or that entire ammo stack. I think that's because I was holding the control key. Let me turn off push to talk in Discord, give me one second. Okay, there we go. You should be able to hear me without pushing the push to talk now. We're gonna have to get pretty good with chaff in order for this thing to have a hope of surviving. Does it have automated defenses? Um, yeah, it has it has a couple types. There's um, the Auroras are like laser anti-missile systems that don't run out of ammo, although they do need to recharge occasionally. Uh, and then there's the VLS launchers can shoot repost missiles, which shoot down incoming enemy missiles. And then we also have a flak cannon on the port side. Yeah, you'll be alright. Yeah, so hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, you'll be alright. Well, I mean, I mean, assuming you're not overwhelmed, right? Yeah, I mean... That, you, it takes a lot of energy to probably take on the battleship. That's, right. That's the last vehicle in the game. Trying to think if there's anything we can strip out in terms of points here. I think I want to keep the roll-off missile launchers. I think we could think about stripping out one of the large cannons. Or maybe replacing it with something a little bit cheaper. So the Mark 68... This gives us... what? Oh, sorry, uh, point value is what I'm looking for. 75 points. If we go down to... Uh, what's the 
what's the the Mark 66 is a little bit faster it uses the same rounds and it just tracks a little bit faster but doesn't I think we're going to go from Mark 68s to Mark 66s to save points or maybe we do 168 on the front and then a 66 here And then this could actually be Mark 62. The 20, that's 10. Oh, the Mark 62 is like two Mark 61s. So it's going to actually cost more points. Although it's not stacking redundant anymore. We have two Auroras. Can we afford to take one of them out? I'd rather not. has a battle short option, which is pretty nice. 10% overheat damage chance. Do we downgrade the Citadel to a reinforced CIC? That halves the hit points. I think I want to keep the Citadel. One or more weapon systems are not assigned to groups. Um, golf ball. Missile. Roll off. Greetings. Hello. Hey, Andy. What's up? Good, good. We're just uh, watching. Oh, wait, you're here early. Here we go. No, no, you're here on you're here on time, totally. But I mean, you're here early also because don't you doesn't your game finish at seven fifteen? Yeah, usually it does. Uh, we 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 uh, were a very short session today. One of our friends was in the hospital. And, uh, oh, jeez. Uh, nearly died, and so we were we didn't really have a possession going on with us today, but uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. He seems to be okay now, but he had like That's good. blood pressure last week, and, like 289 over like 200. And it was like I didn't even understand what was wrong with him. Anyway, but he's getting it under control. I guess awesome. he doesn't really know, but hey, we're hoping. So Decius, Brother Blitz, also here on time. Oh, right. It's great. That's yeah. So we're just waiting on, um, on. We're waiting on three more. Then we'll get started. We'll give them a buffer of uh, you know, ten minutes or so. And then we'll get right away started. What's up, Fairfire? Hello. Can everyone hear me? Or, yeah. Greetings. I can hear you. We're currently um, watching uh, Russ's stream. He's, he's, he's setting up a ship to, to, to battle. But try to get rid of the repos here to save points. That saved me a couple points. So he's currently building a battleship, <clears throat> and uh, he's gonna try it out. Nice. Um, it's a, it's like a space game. If you watch Expanse, it's sort of like that kind of battle logic. You know, like sort of like real battleships. Oh, World 20 has changed. What did it change? It's labeled complicated. Well, no, it's just they have a uh, they have a dark mode now. You can click yep. it off. Uh, I, I realized that I couldn't see the sheets. <laughs> dark mode. But dark mode's like old man, like kryptonite. Like, I was just like, uh, I can't read. <laughs> so I had to put it on light mode. <laughs> Actually, okay. no, it has something to do with the font because I know my whole computer's on dark mode, really, essentially. And I can see everything else fine, but whatever the font or whatever, I just was looking at it, and I was just, ugh, I couldn't, my eyes couldn't process the data. I mean, even the game, you know, Russ's mind's all, all black as well. Everything's inverted on my screen, it's, I just realized that. I, 
guess it was, I don't know, maybe it's the, the fawn. Maybe. So, sometimes, sometimes it'd be the fawn. So I was, oh, I was instead of white, they made the Dungeons and Dragons red. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, at first blush, it's, it's quite fancy. Oh, well, we'll see how popular it is in the coming weeks. <laughs> yeah. I already turned it off, so... <laughs> that, that says anything. Yeah, not a great sign. Mm. We're waiting on two more to get started. We're waiting on motion. Uh, Bre uh, uh, the Elastic Assassin. <laughs> Alright! The Elastic Assassin. Right. He said he was going to be a little late, so... We'll sit tight for a few more minutes. Continue to observe. Uh, Russ, Russ have to take back all of the things he built on the battleship because it's so complicated. Pretty much. That he, he like ran out of room and now he has to just like nitpicking all the little it's like when you're when you're trying to uh empty when, when your computer when your phone says it's full right and yep empty it but like you're trying to do it piecemeal by like getting rid of all the megabyte files when you know that if you just got rid of one or two of those gigabyte files <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you keep at the uh, oh god, I'm being called he's out. Like, I know. <laughs> he's like taking away like the crew's bathrooms. <laughs> like, <laughs> those, those are definitely not necessary. <laughs> no common areas anymore. <laughs> Go to the kitchen. <laughs> How much do we really need fire safety in our magazines? Giant gun. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta leave the giant there we go. <laughs> What's the point of the boat if there's no giant gun? I'm hoping I have a bunch of giant long range stuff. I don't need as much giant short range stuff. That's the general idea. Yeah, it is, but it's a battleship. Once I know it. it's rough. It's made. It's made to. It has to wade into it, or else yeah. it's not gonna be as effective as it should be. That's true. It should be like right in the middle. Yeah. I don't know about that. It should be right within range of a couple of enemies that it can blast. <laughs> Probably yeah, not in the middle. You have to fight. You have to fight their smaller ones and their bigger ones. Yeah. And the the amount of energy that the battleship has, I think you'd be able to fire short range and your long range guns all at once, right? Like I, I yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. You have enough juice to do that, so yeah, that, that, would, that would be the maximum like eff efficacy. I think we're gonna. How does this compare again? 20 points for the roll-off missiles. 30 points for the VLS-16. Oh, we're going to stick with the roll-off missiles. Oh, but is that? Yeah, okay. And then... This is tough. We did make a bunch of ammo room. How did I, I don't remember what I removed to make that room, but it's okay. I'm going to fill it with hurricanes, mostly. Oh, we're already over again. <laughs> Missiles are so expensive. Let's just put a whole bunch of squalls on. Squalls are cheap. Squalls are anti-radar missiles. They're designed to defeat jamming by targeting the jammer. Oh, but that's... They got a long way to go, then, unless you're close. Yeah, I mean, all missiles... Oh, you had too many of those. Yeah, you definitely had too many of those. Yeah. I mean, they're going to want to jam the hell out of this thing, right? To prevent it from shooting them. So I feel like it's good to have a bunch of squalls. Yeah, but, you know, jammers jammers are only going to be ultimately effective at, at great range, right? When you get close to the jammer, stop. That's true. Being as effective. So you, you may not need to defeat jammers. And also, you know, you know the other thing that, that we're not thinking about, we're like thinking of this as like Battleship Yamato. Like you're just on your own, but like you have support craft. That's true. I do have this other craft. We completely yeah. This, this guy also has loaded with a ton of missiles, by the way. That little ship's responsibility could be just to, like, to focus on, you know, soft targets. Yeah. Or, you know, some other function that the battleship... You know. That's a great point. I could change this guy's loadout. Um... It just, like, occurred to me. Yeah. I kind of like him... 
Let's see. So this, I'm spending 90 points on this launcher right now. We could probably save some. The only problem is I have no room for ammo on this thing because of the radar equipment. It's a radar. This guy? It's a radar ship, yeah. Range radar? Yeah. So, so I could. It's radar, it's, it can only, you only want, you don't want it to get close. So we shouldn't have anything any close. Well, the missiles are pretty long range. I mean. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um. What I mean is you, you don't. The PDCs are probably. I'm gonna PDCs. lose one of the missile launchers because I think that's gonna save me a ton of points. Yeah, so that just cut out like a hundred points. I can put more missiles on the battleship, and I think it'll be more point effective. Fortunately, this one's at capacity. So, so for the intro, we're gonna need that 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 Faye Wild music again. Probably don't need this many shells here. We're just waiting on the Elastic Assassin once Mark arrives, once Brench arrives. Oh, also, Ed, I figured out what the issue is. They're using red instead of white in certain places, um, and then white instead of red, oh. gray instead of uh, white or red on oh, other places. Oh, that's it's, it's hard to. Crushing. gray and the red in certain areas uh, like for the long sword attacks when you use the red it's really hard to see it's like a faded maroon oh uh, so it's just it's just poor design yeah and then like for my font for example it, it turned it gray um on the character sheets instead of white for some places <laughs> so yeah. it basically fades into the dark yeah that's not good they're, they're, the complaints are going to be rolling in <laughs> Well, dark mode is a good idea, but they should probably try to improve the other aspects to to make it make sense. Otherwise, yeah. oh my god, is... that the 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 CSS nightmare shit that I saw on some character sheets. Oh <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. Did they roll this out just today, or? In like the last 24 hours, as far as I know. That makes more sense. Because I was playing on Roll20 literally yesterday and I did not see any of this dark mode stuff. Yeah, it's so early. <laughs> okay, so I have. I should probably double check to see if nothing bad has happened to my other character sheets. <laughs> well, you know, it's just the dark mode. Like, you turn it back to light mode and you're good, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it's fun. Like, one, I saw one sheet that got turned into graph paper. <laughs> Who sheet was it? It was a Savage World uh, character sheet. It oh, literally, okay. it just literally turns it into a uh, pretty much a graph paper right, overlay. On one top second, of the, the sheet itself. Nice. There we go. All right, folks. So that's going to be it for the. Um, yeah, there's feet command stream. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was talking on Discord. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough uh, time to actually test out this fleet, but we'll have to test it out next time.